Jeez, I'm so bored. I wish I had some kind of electronic circuit to make. Hey, what's this? Well, what do you know? Some circuits. I guess it's time for another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a couple of circuits that I found while I was browsing the internet. And what these are are preamp circuits. And the really interesting thing about these is that they are push-pull. So, none of that Class A stuff. And the other interesting thing about it is, well, just look at it. They're both the same circuit. Except one's using valves, and the other one's using JFETs. So, I thought I would build up these circuits. I'll start with the valve one, and then move on to the JFET one. See how well they perform, and yada yada yada. So now I'm going to get on and build the valve circuit. Okay, and now what we're going to do is now I've built the circuit, we're going to test it. I don't know why, but for some reason my voice always sounds like that when I use a field microphone. Because I've gone over to another microphone so I can test the circuit, so... Okay, let's get serious now. So here we are. I've built the little circuit, as you can see there, and I'm going to plug my microphone into that, so... I've gone over to a separate microphone to record the sound. So I'm going to plug this microphone into this little thing. And turn it on. First we're going to turn on the filaments, which are powered from this transformer here. Is it lighting up? Yep, I can see the filaments lighting up. Yeah. It doesn't look very bright though. I'm mm, just about to see it while the light's off. But it is 12.6 volts. I know that because I went inside this power supply and adjusted it specifically for 12.6 volts. There's a little adjustment port in there so I can do that. And I've got this speaker hooked up to the output of this circuit. Now, let me just enlighten you that this is a powered speaker, and it's connected to the line-in. It's not a passive speaker, it's a powered speaker. And the purpose of this video is to find out how well each circuit will drive a line-in. Not a speaker, a line-in. So, I'm turn on the high voltage. Increase the voltage. Yeah, by all means, increase the voltage. Let's wait for the HV to come up. And if this is working in a minute, we should hear this microphone through the speaker. And I'm not hearing anything. Oh, I know why it's not working. I didn't turn the speaker on. There's me being a dumbass for you. Alright, so I'm going to bring up the volume, and hopefully we should hear... Oh! Okay, I think this is working. Because now I'm speaking into the microphone, and it is definitely coming out of the speaker. I do seem to have to turn the volume up quite a bit for this thing to pick up from the thing, so it's not exactly the most amount of amplification in the world, but it works. Okay, we know it's working, that's good and all, but how much gain do we have? Well, this little box of tricks here is a sine wave generator that I've made, sending in a signal to this little circuit here. I connected this up to my scope so we can see exactly how much amplification we have, and the top trace is what's coming out of the circuit, the bottom trace is what's going in, and although it doesn't look like there's a lot of amplification, if I put both traces onto the same volts per division, you can see now that the bottom trace is pretty much a straight line. So, that kind of puts into perspective. So this one is set on the 0.5 volts per division. So that's 0.5 
1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2. Let me just center that a little better. About 1.25 volts, peak to peak, so remember that. And the bottom trace is set to 10 millivolts per division. So that's 10. That would be 20. It's not quite 20. I'd say that's about 18 millivolts. So let's crunch the numbers and see how much amplification we actually have. 1.25 volts divided by 18 millivolts, which is 0 0.018. And our gain, which of course you cannot see, is about 69. So I'm just going to round that off to about 70. Not bad. Anyway, next thing I want to do is I just want to test out a couple of other little things. And better remember to turn this off so I don't waste the battery. Tree. So I had an idea. What about I compare this with a typical class A tube preamp circuit, just using one side of the tube. And here it is. This is the result on the scope. Same input voltage, and we're getting about one volt peak to peak out, which means we have a gain of about 50. Now I've got an idea. How about I put two of these class A preamps together so this is the circuit, and I think this is going to give us lots and lots and lots of gain. So let's try it out. So here is the valve wired up using both chambers as a class A amplifier, feeding the output of one amplifier into the other. And I have it plugged into my dynamic microphone. And I'm monitoring the output on the scope, and as you can see when I speak, you can see the waveform of my voice on the scope. Alright, so let's see how well it works with the line in of this powered speaker. I'll just turn it on and... And upon doing some basic calculations, I found that, well, this side here is going to amplify the incoming signal about 50 times. Then it's going to get fit into this part, which amplifies it by a further 50 times. Which is going to give us a final gain of over 2,000! Of course, I should have remembered with the extra amplification we're going to get. I shouldn't have had the volume on as high as it was before. Okay, so I'll just turn it up only a little bit this time. And I would say... That's working pretty good. So that's all the valve stuff done. Now let's move on to the MOSFET stuff and that's going to be in the next video because they haven't come yet.